Hello, beautiful party people. Old Man Ven, and we're going to install Blender GPU rendering. Well, we're going to tie it all together and make it work on Ubuntu 1704. So, step one. Let's get right into this. In and out, quick and dirty how to, five minutes. We need Blender. We need the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. G++ NVIDIA Mod Probe. So, let's get that business taken care of with a quickness. It's about a gig of stuff you're going to have to download, so you might want to go make yourself a cup of tea while that takes place. Now that we have that business taken care of, you probably want to grab a demo. Everyone's using, all the kids these days, the BMW benchmark. Grab that, download it for the sake of time. I've already dumped it on the desktop. Ended up with a folder. You'll notice one is CPU blend and GPU blend. Now, something you should know is you're probably going to have to launch Blender the first time as root to build the kernels. Maybe your distribution or whoever maintains the packages has already done that, but just to be safe, it won't hurt anything. And I'm just going to launch this directly in here. So let's see, what do we have? 27 and blend. Let's launch this. Okay. We're almost there. So first thing we want to do, head over to files, take a good look at that, head over to user preferences, and we should now have the option to enable CUDA as opposed to none. You do have the options in this box. I have a GTX 980 and a 770 which you can use both at the same time. There's no problem with that. Um, Atomic in our forums, but three video cards. He was also using a 1050 or something along those lines. Just make sure that is enabled and it's set up. And you should basically be good to go for your render. This is something, if you're going to be doing something other than just the benchmark, you'll have the options right here, CPU, GPU, compute, and what you'll notice down here in performance, this is something you'll probably want to be changing if you're going to be doing your rendering with the GPU with your tiles because, you know, 256 seems like the right number for GPU where on CPU it's somewhere like 30 or 40. But after that, you can just tap your render button. With the 980 and the 770, it's 2 minutes, 15, 2 minutes, 30 seconds somewhere in there on this box, but you can always check to see if it's running with the NVIDIA proprietary setup. It's going to get kind of chuggy because it's using 100% of both systems, but you can just click on your GPU zero whenever you should see GPU utilization 100%. Um, video engine, you're seeing that because I'm recording this with the NV, NV encode, new word. And you can see it's 100% on the 770. Alternately, you could just, um, it's going to be fun to see if this recording comes out. HTOP, what do we have? We got two, three threads running. So, yeah, that's it. It's kind of brilliant. Hope that helps somebody out if you enjoy this nonsense or if you found it moderately useful, considering helping us make more. Head over to patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast or just linuxgamecast.com forward slash support if Patreon is not your thing. A lot of options there. It's been real. It's been beautiful. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.